Great uh, Lanny Marchant. Uh, good talk with you today. You went out, uh, I guess, a little conservative during the downhill for you. Yeah, um, the goal for this race was to really focus on feeling strong the second half. Um, overall, show proof of fitness for Athletics Canada for Commonwealth Games at the end of the end of July. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to go out. I think I was just under 35 minutes, maybe 34 mid, and then try to hold that over the second half with the hill. So I think I did all right. I slowed down a little bit. I mean, obviously with Burrard Street, the second half is hillier, so effort-wise, I tried to stay the same. I felt really, really strong finishing. And that was kind of the goal. So you're in your own little race, you didn't have any guys to feed off? No, um, I was with the pack of three or four guys through the first 8K, I guess. And then when you hit that big downhill, they opened it up, which actually was good for me. Because then once we got to the flat section, I could eat, like look off them. And I ended up closing on them and passing them before we hit um, 13 or 14K and started climbing. So it was probably a good thing for me to have them drop me like a bad habit down the hill so I could work. To get back up with them. So you ran a, a little over 113 today, and uh, I think it was May, you ran 110. Was that March? Back in March, yeah. March at the uh, Tonkin Classic. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what is that course compared to this one? Uh, that course is fairly flat. It's probably the flattest thing you'll find in Tennessee. So, um, And it's just that's usually I'm right back from Kenya. I'm about two weeks out from being um, in Kenya training. So I'm always really fit for that one. And that one, yeah, the goal was. Was for, to go for a fast one. This one, there wasn't a marathon until Boston, and that's just, there's such different beasts in that case. Here, trying to recover from Boston and make sure I'm ready to go for Commonwealth, I wanted this to be a, a strength effort rather than a, a time effort. So now you're going to have to uh, find out how the Glasgow uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my homework now the next couple of weeks. I'm not somebody that gets too, too caught up in the technicality of a course. I usually like to just have an idea of where I need to turn, and other than that, just run it and engage myself in the field. So you ran a uh, the Canadian record, uh, 228. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, you, you mentioned yesterday that uh, you think you can run better. How fast do you think you can run I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. I definitely feel like last summer at Worlds, I was in sub-228 shape, uh, and then obviously Worlds didn't go according to plan. And so, so coming back for Toronto, I might have had a little bit more rust in the system than I wanted, but I, I definitely think I'm still only, I'm new to the distance, and when you look at my injury history, I've only been healthy, knock on wood, and injury free since November 2012 to now. So we're only, a, you know, we're barely over a year really of solid, continuous running, where if I took time off, it was my choice to take it off and I wasn't forced. So if I feel like if I get a couple more solid years like that under my belt, then anything can happen. Okay, so then, did you, did you feel uh, any repercussions? Like, did you feel any injuries or like, any sort of downward portions? Um, just my, my left hip is always a little tight. Um, and yeah, like, on a downhill course, I mean, Boston beat it up a little bit, and this course always seems to beat me up a little bit on those downhills, but compared to last year, or compared to Boston, I've really been focusing on fixing that and strengthening that area. So even though it got a little aggravated today, it was still a lot better than a year ago. So it's just something, every runner has their little niggle that's going to bother them, and mine's my hips. Oh, well, well my, my mileage will keep climbing now for another couple weeks, and then I'll come down. But race-wise, yeah, this was it. This is my last proof of fitness and strong effort, and, you know, get the flats on and give her a good go. Good luck. Well, uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Uh, to the line, down the gate is Lanny Marks in the other 10, K Mark, Kate Basley was second. Here we go, this is the 2013 Scotiabank Women's Champion, and it is number two. And that looks as though, therefore, we do have a winner in Lanny Marks. We have a lady, Lanny Calvary, half as well, Pico Ball in that one at 75.55. Don't forget the Canadian record holder with that 228 at the marathon distance as well.